Ironcad 2024 has added a new constraint type for gears. For example, we have a gear on the left that has 25 teeth and we have a gear on the right that has 18 teeth. What we want to do is add a constraint so that when gear one moves, the gear two will move as well. So to do that, you go into our positioning constraints and we have an advanced constraint type. And in the drop-down list, you'll see a new option for gear. And what it's looking for is a cylindrical surface to refer to for the source and target ent entities. So we'll select our first gear and we'll select our second gear. And you notice it'll I'll go ahead and create the constraint here. And you can use two different ways to derive your gears. One is by a ratio, or you can use gear teeth number. So we know the gear teeth ratio in this is 25 and 18. The inverse option gives you ways to control how the gears move. For example, if this one's moving, currently this gear would move the opposite direction. If you want them to move as both directions, you use the inverse setting and you hit OK to apply that. Now to see these move, you can run the mechanism mode and you can use a couple options. You can use collision detection or you can just use a simple mechanism mode just to see the movement of the gears. Using the collision detection can help detect if there's issues with your gears. For example, if we go to one of our gears, we'll turn on our tri ball. We'll move it in so that it will cause a little bit of interference here inside of our model. Now when we run our mechanism mode and we use a collision detection, when we do this, we can see that the gears are colliding and it highlights that for us. So a very handy tool to create a gear motion and actually see if you have any problems with your gears colliding or if they're positioned incorrectly in your models.